Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. We're here with another video. In the month of November, Luminar Neo released a few new extensions, and one of them is called Upscale AI, which is designed to resize photos to a higher resolution and to fill in details using artificial intelligence. So with this release, we thought it would be a good time to compare it with other established upscalers, Topaz Gigapixel AI, and on one resize AI to differentiate hype from reality and to settle the score on who is the true king of image resizing. By the way, this follows a previous video I made where I compared Topaz Labs Gigapixel with Pixelmator ML Super Resolution. Topaz Gigapixel won that contest handily. Therefore, the current king is Topaz Gigapixel. Now, before we show the slideshow comparison, and reveal who I think is the winner, let's look at the operations and feature set of each of these upscaling software. So we start off with Gigapixel. So Topaz Gigapixel costs around 100 US dollars. So let's look at the operation of Topaz Gigapixel. So for Topaz Gigapixel AI, it's pretty straightforward. You simply have to drag in a bunch of folders. Just to demonstrate that, let's drag on this folder right here. And you can see now that these images have been loaded into the editor. So you can see all the images right here. I have around 17 images. So you can save all of this in one go, meaning it will render all of these images in one go, which is very convenient. So as you can see, it is rendering now the, the image. The bigger it is, the longer it will actually take. So you can compare it with the original just by pressing this original button here right and you can also do a split view like so and you can even have a side-by-side -side view and a comparison view so that's pretty convenient very intuitive very convenient the main differentiator though of topaz gigapixel ai is its ai models you can actually try out various models for each of these images. So for example, the standard here, as you can see, it says here it's the best choice across a variety of images. So this is the more conservative one, right? And that's how it would look like. You have also have uh, lines, which are good for buildings, art and SG for things which are not photographs. So they include drawings or scans or computer graphics. And then you have um, low resolution here which is one of my favorite for this set of photos because I've chosen some really low resolution shots. But uh, for this example, just to make it simple, I'm actually choosing very compressed, which actually will do uh, the same thing, right? So this is the low resolution and this is very compressed. So the next competitor on our list is Luminar Neo's Upscale AI. This is the newest entry in this list and it was released just this November. So as you can see here, Upscale AI costs a whopping 448 US dollars if you want to buy it without a subscription. That's because you have to buy both Luminar Neo and the 2022 extensions pack. So that seems to be a pretty pricey deal, but you can also get Upscale AI with around a $10 subscription. So the way it works is you have to install the extension, the latest update of Luminar Neo, and then you can go into extensions here. And then basically you want to click install, right? So once upscale here has been installed, and yeah, it has also launched some other extensions here, which I'll be testing as well in the future. But um, right now I'll be focusing on the upscale AI here. Once you install the extension, you're going to see this upscale panel appear here. Now, unlike Topaz Labs Gigapixel, Luminar Neo upscale only supports one image at a time. So you basically have to do it one by one. You basically have to drag the image right here. Then maybe choose the maximum resolution, which is six times. Then just click on upscale. And so what happens is once the upscaling is done, it will be stored in this upscale folder, which will be created automatically. So you will have the upscaled image right here. So you can see this image, which was originally 454 by 402 pixels is now 2724 by 2412 pixels, 
right? So the upscaling has been done and uh, we're gonna be comparing all of these images later on. But it's as simple as that. So let's move on now to the last competitor, which is On One Resize. The next competitor in our list is On One Resize AI. So On One claims Resize AI is a next generation photo enlargement software. As you can see here, On One Resize AI costs around 100 US dollars as well. But currently they have a deal with the On One Professional Plugin Bundle, which includes On One No Noise, On One Resize AI, and some other software for around 130 US dollars. So this seems to be a much better deal. So let's look at On One Resize AI in action. All right, so here we are with On One Resize AI. So let's go ahead and open the photos. So now all the photos have been loaded. So this photo right here is has dimensions of 400 by 300. So we can specify the size here. I'm going to make the size around 4,000 pixels. So now it is 4,000 pixels here. I'm going to add some sharpening here. All right, so the nice thing about online resize AI, as you can see here, is it will actually support resizing multiple files at once, just like Topaz Labs Chica Pixel. So those were the three softwares in action. And now let's look at the results. And at the end of the video, I'll share my thoughts on who I think should be crowned the winner of this resizing slash upscaling battle. So I hope you enjoyed that video. As you've just seen, the images chosen for this comparison are on the extreme end so that we could really push the performance of the upscaler to the limit. Looking at the examples though, I think the result was pretty clear that the best upscaling comes from Topaz Labs Gigapixel. 
First, it was the best at producing results with the least amount of artifacts. And that includes artifacts from excessive compression or sharpening. So for example, in this image, which is a fairly small image of 374 by 280, you can see that both Luminar and On1 did produce a bunch of artifacts after the resizing process. Gigapixel was the one which produced the smoothest image with not an artifact to be found. So even if you zoom in, you can see that it's a very clean image. You compare that to On1, which made mistakes like uh, this one here in this difficult example. For Luminar, it still had artifacts, but it was uh, more well controlled. But you can still see it here in the scuba tank. You can see that for Gigapixel, it didn't have those problems. Gigapixel really excelled in removing the artifacts from the image. The second reason I chose Gigapixel was it was the best at recreating detail lost through the extreme compression. And this can especially be seen in the animal images. So you can see from this highly compressed shot that it's very blurred and it has a lot of uh, compression artifacts here. So a lot of detail has been lost in the feathers and in the texture of this owl. If you look at Luminar Upscale AI, so this is Luminar Upscale AI, you can see it didn't really do much. There's really not much difference in terms of the results for this. For On1, they actually sharpened the owl pretty well, but it also introduced a lot of the sharpening artifacts. It was only Gigapixel, as you can see here, which really recreated the owl. So there's a lot more texture I can see here and no artifacts. So how it recreates the texture in this owl is really impressive. Same thing can be said for this dog image, which is only 420 by 280 pixels. So you can see both Luminar and On1 could not recreate this detail here. But Gigapixel, as you can see, much better detail in the, in the fur of this dog, right? So this was the original, and this is Gigapixel. So it's extremely smart about recreating these details which are lost. And how it does that, it's really like voodoo magic in my opinion. As for Luminar Upscale AI, what do I think of it? The images it produces are visually sharper. So as you can see here in this very blurred photo, so Luminar Upscale AI did improve the sharpness, but very marginally. As for On1 Resize AI, it was very good at producing sharp images. So I was quite impressed with this image right here. So this was the image from On1 Resize AI. So this was the original, and this was On1 Resize AI's result. So the sharpening it does is pretty good. However, it does have a tendency to over sharpen the images, and that produces certain artifacts. So for example, in this scene here, of course it is an extremely low quality image at only 700 by 396. But you can see for On1, though the rock formation here was sharpened very nicely, there was a lot of sharpening artifacts uh, in the people. And these sharpening artifacts are pretty hard to remove. So I would rather that On1 be a little bit more careful on the artifacts it produces. And with regards to the settings, I actually set the sharpening of on one to zero. So this is actually produced whether sharpening is on or not. Okay, You can see for Gigapixel, it doesn't have these problems. All in all, Gigapixel remains the king of image resizing slash upscaling. And I don't think there is anyone in the horizon who can challenge them, given that the difference in results is pretty wide. So. Congratulations to Gigapixel. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe, like, and share to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.